Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a really difficult video. Before we actually get into this video, I definitely want to give credit to Alithia Marie for this video idea because she was the first person that I saw this video from. And I thought it was such an amazing idea because I never really even took the time to even think about where I would even begin if I were to lose my entire perfume collection or I don't know, something would happen to my perfume collection. Like where would I start? You know, what would be the perfumes that I would buy first? Cause obviously I have a massive perfume collection of like over a hundred, probably at this point, like 200 perfumes. So obviously if I were to lose it all, I wouldn't just go ahead and buy all 200 back. I would obviously start off with like one here, one there. So this was extremely difficult, but it really just made me realize which were the perfumes that I genuinely just love so, so much. And I'm probably forgetting more because I try to be strict on myself with this video and only do top 10. So these are just the top 10 perfumes that if I were to lose all of my perfumes, this is where I would begin. So clearly you know that I love these perfumes. If you are a regular viewer of mine, this video might kind of seem a little redundant and you've heard of these perfumes previously on my videos, but obviously I wouldn't be true to myself if I didn't include these because I talk about these a lot for a reason because they are my favorites. But I do have a couple new ones that I haven't really talked about that much. I have one like brand new one that you guys have never seen on my channel. So I still kind of have a little something different for those of you that watch my channel regularly. Anyways, before we get into this video, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with the brand perfume that if you're a regular viewer of mine, you've never seen this on my channel before and that is Calvin Klein Women. This is a really unique bottle. You can't really see it, so I have to kind of hold my hand up, but there's like a eye. It's kind of a bulky bottle. It's definitely not the kind of bottle that you travel with, but I do have a travel size of this perfume as well because I love this scent like so much. I fell in love with it, and I wanna give credit to Shauna J for putting me onto this perfume because she talks about it so much and I had to get it. Her taste in perfumes is a lot different than mine, but I'm trying to get into more fresher perfumes, more elegant, more, I guess, mature perfumes, and just branching out of my usual, just sweet category that I tend to just fall on. I just wanna try new things out there. Obviously, there's a lot more perfumes than just the sweet perfumes. So this is definitely not a scent that I would have probably gravitated towards if it wasn't for her. And I have absolutely fallen in love with this scent. Clearly it made it to this video. So if I were to start with this perfume on top of any other perfume that I have in my collection that I've had for longer, that's how you know I really like it. Oh my God, this smells incredible. I actually started off with a little travel size of this perfume and I liked it so much that I ordered I ordered. Yes, you heard me right. I ordered. If you're new to my channel, then you're probably like, um, okay, you ordered that perfume? Okay, like, so does everybody. But you OGs get me when I say I ordered this perfume. If you're new to my channel, I hate ordering things online. Like, I will do everything in my power to find something in store before I ordered online. But that's how you know I was that in love with this perfume because I couldn't find this anywhere. So my last resort was to just order it online. This is very similar to the family of Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. It has a lot of similarity to it. This is the perfect summer scent. Like the perfect summer scent. It just smells like summertime. It's very fresh. It's very citrusy. So it's very similar to that DNA of the heavy citrus that is in Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. But unlike Light Blue and how Light Blue has that like overly masculine kind of unisex vibe to it, I find this one, although it, this one still has a little bit of a unisex vibe to it because it is so just non-sweet. I find this one more feminine than I do light blue. This has top notes of grapefruit, eucalyptus, bergamot, lemon, and black pepper. Middle notes of orange blossom, tea, magnolia, jasmine, hedione, and raspberry, and base notes of cedar, umbroxan, white musk, cashmere, olibanum, and violet. So kind of a couple new notes here that I've never seen before, but I would just categorize this as a very, very bright, citrusy, woody type of scent. It's so sexy. I find this 
so incredibly sexy. It's a very crisp scent and there's just something very alluring about this. It's a very inoffensive scent. I guess you could wear this at any season, but I think specifically because it is so bright and citrusy and crisp, I think it's much more fitting for the spring and specifically summertime. I could not do without this perfume now that I have it because I think it will just be a staple for me. It is a major compliment getter. Just because it's so inoffensive, everybody finds something that they like in this perfume, I feel like. So definitely one to check out, especially if you love kind of the scent of light blue. But maybe even if you don't love light blue, try this one out because I do think that it is different enough. This doesn't have the polarity, I guess, that light blue has. So definitely check this one out. That is Calvin Klein Women. I almost want to tell my regular viewers to just skip over this part right here because I just feel so bad for talking about this because I swear, I think I've included this in like every single one of my past few videos. But what can I do? Like that just tells you how much I love it. And you guys clearly love this one as well because a lot of you have told me you have purchased it and it's like your favorite perfume now. Stella McCartney Pop. I'm sorry, but I had to include this. If I had to start my perfume collection all over again and I had to start with just 10 perfumes, it would be this one. Like this would probably be the first one I think that I would get of this list because this is my everyday like signature perfume. This is the perfume that I wear on a daily basis if I don't know what to wear, if I'm not doing anything necessarily special that day, even though I do wear this on special occasions, but you know what I mean. Like usually special occasion occasions, I'll whip out like my more expensive perfumes or just my more like bougier perfumes. Whereas this one is just my signature. This is what I smell like on a daily basis. It's easy for me. And that's definitely not to say that this is a generic perfume because I find this so special. It smells like Barbie dolls. It smells like the color pink. It smells sweet, but there's also kind of like this freshness to it. It has like this nostalgia because of that Barbie scent. So if you're one of those kids that grew up playing with Barbies, I think this will definitely bring you back to that time, but not in a way that makes this smell dated, if that makes any sense. This one has tomato leaf, green mandarin, violet leaf, middle notes of tuberose, frangipani, and violet, and base notes of musk, sandalwood, and cedar. This is one of those perfumes where I'm just always so speechless when I try to explain it because I don't know how to explain it. I really, really don't. It's so unique. I don't have anything in my collection that smells like this. This is now my second bottle. I started off with like a little one fluid ounce and I finished that off and now I'm on to this one. And I'm pretty sure that this will be like a perfume for life for me because it's so incredibly special. My husband loves it. Everybody around me loves it. I get a million and one compliments when I wear this. And if I could give you a really, really nice uh, combo to pair this up with, pair it up with uh, Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals, the two together match made in heaven. So that is Stella McCartney Pop. And of course, another one for my OGs, Miami Glow by JLo. This is my second bottle. I have a backup of this because it is, oh my God. I need to just like put the cap on this and don't smell it because it'll just make me lose my train of thought because it smells that intensely good that it just like, it puts me in a different kind of world. Like it's just that good. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna stay far away from it because if I smell it, I'm gonna get lost. This is an incredible perfume. This is a perfume that I give all thanks to Kathleen Lights for kind of introducing this, not that she introduced it to me, but I was seeing a video where she talked about this and it really intrigued me. So I went ahead and found this. I'm definitely not one of those people where I can only wear specific perfumes in like a specific season. Like I don't care about that. Like I will wear the sweetest of the sweetest perfumes in the heat of summer. I will wear the freshest perfumes in winter. Like I don't care about that, but this literally smells like summer. There's just you can't wear this in winter, you just can't. And you would definitely agree with me on that if you smelled this perfume, because it literally smells like the summer. And I, I don't know why, oh my God. Why did I open it? This has top notes of passion fruit, coconut milk, and pink grapefruit, middle notes of orange blossom, cyclamen, and heliotrope, and base notes of vanilla, musk, and amber. I know that some people do not like this scent because they say that it smells very soapy on them, which I understand there is a soapy vibe to this, but if it's soapy, this is the most unique soapy perfume ever because I, 
I don't want to say I hate soapy scents. They're not my favorite kind of category is what I'm saying. Like I like soapy scents in the way that I like them, if that makes sense. And this is definitely one that I like. It is not just the soapy scent. Like that's not the category that I would put this in. Although I don't even know what category I would put this in because it's so many things. It's fresh. It's a little bit citrusy. It's kind of soapy. It's sweet. Like it just has everything in it. So I, I don't know. It is just... It's a hidden gem. Like it's a clean musk, soapy, fruity, passion fruit scent. It reminds me of the beach. It reminds me of going on a tropical vacation. It doesn't smell like, like suntan lotion or sunscreen or anything like that. It just smells like summer. And that's all I can say about it. It's just the best perfume ever made. That is Miami Glow by JLo. Next up, this is a perfume that for me is one of my most complimented scents. It's a perfume that I fell in love with the first time that I ever smelled it. Every single time I wear this, I get a compliment. And I don't love it just because of that, but I, I love this. This is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. This smells like a bad bitch. This smells like a hot girl. It smells like sexiness. It smells like a thriving young woman. It's sweet. Oh my god, it's so freaking good. I don't know why, but now smelling it, why is there something in here that is reminding me of Stella McCartney Pop? I don't know what it is. There's kind of like a vibe. I don't know. I don't know. Really weird. I just realized that right now, but I just got like a hint of pop in it. This is a lot more intense. Like, this is more everyday. This is more going out, I guess. This has top notes of black currant, pink pepper, and bergamot, middle notes of jasmine, jasmine sandback, and jasmine tea, and base notes of bourbon vanilla, cashmere, and guaiac wood. I would say that bourbon vanilla is definitely prominent here. The bourbon gives it just a little bit of that like sexiness. It's not like your basic vanilla scent. There's a little spice in it, just something different. And then black currant is just a top tier note. I mean, how many times do I have to say that? I love black currant. It just adds like that berry, sweet, juicy kind of feel to any perfume. And that's really what I'm getting in here. I'm just getting kind of like a black currant, bourbon vanilla, a bit of that cashmere, giving more of that sexy vibe, and then kind of like a woody vibe to it as well but i definitely consider this a very sweet perfume i don't find this generic at all like it's one of the most amazing sweet perfumes ever if i could kind of put this into perspective if you've ever tried ari by ariana grande not saying that they're dupes at all but it's kind of the same vibes it's like that really sweet feminine vibe but if ari was more of like the more teenage juvenile version this is like the boss hot girl more mature version of that one and this is stunning. Valentino Donna is where it's at. If I lost all my perfumes, I could not do without this one either. And there is a new flanker I did see of uh, this one. I think it's Valentino Donna like coral or something. I definitely have to smell that one. Let me know if you've tried it. Leave me in the comments if you have. And what do you think about it? Is it a lot more different than this one? Like, what are the vibes? Let me know. Another perfume that I would definitely buy if I were to lose my perfumes, Lolita Lampica. This is the scent of my childhood. I've mentioned this before, but this smells so ethereal. It smells like fairies to me. That was the first reaction that I had when I smelled this. Like it smells so mystical and just otherworldly. It's super sweet. I've said this exact comparison before, but it smells like what you think Tinkerbell would smell like. Like it's that fairy-like mystical scent. It has kind of like a licorice type of vibe to it. It smells very sexy to me also. And also another one that my husband loves. This one has top notes of star anise, violet, ivy, middle notes of licorice, okay. <laughs> Cherry, iris, orris root, amaryllis, and base notes of vanilla, praline, tonka bean, white musk, and vetiver. I love cherry notes and the cherry in here is definitely prominent. It's mixing really nicely with that licorice. And I absolutely love this. Even if you don't like the scent of licorice, I know a lot of people don't like licorice, but in here, <sighs> It's just very sweet. I'm not even a fan of licorice myself, like eating wise, or not even smelling wise, but it's so stunning. Trust me, this is a stunning scent. I can't put this into words, but it's absolutely stunning. I could not do without this perfume. So definitely one that I would purchase like right away if I lost all of my perfumes. So that is Lolita Lampica. Okay, kind of one that was a little bit shocking for me, like when I was 
kind of picking out the perfumes for this video I kept going to this perfume and just being like would that be one that I would get or no like trying to go back and forth but ultimately I kind of just came to the conclusion that I really love this perfume enough that I would repurchase this before I would repurchase any of my other like 200 plus perfumes that I have in my collection like this is a beautiful scent. This is Yes I Am by Cacherel. They have a ton of flankers. This is just the original one. I love the flankers and I have a lot of them in my collection, but the original is definitely like just where it's at. This is such an inexpensive scent, but it smells like it could easily be a niche perfume. It could be a designer. Like it just has that expensive quality to it. This is a creamy, a uh, very sweet, caramelly kind of spicy scent this has top notes of raspberry mandarin orange lemon and bergamot middle notes of gardenia ginger flower amber jasmine rose orange blossom and base notes of milk caramel vanilla cardamom licorice coumarin benzoin amberwood and sandalwood we have a lot going on in here but if i had to pick like the the top most standout notes for me it would probably be raspberry a bit of that ginger flower just giving a little bit of spice the milk not that i'm actually smelling milk but giving it like that creaminess like that nice rounded smell the caramel vanilla and also the licorice in my opinion licorice gives like a really sweet scent to perfumes and i definitely love that and then it also kind of has a nice woody vibe to it which gives off like this really sexy kind of feel i think the bottle is definitely perfect for how this smells like it smells like a scent that you would wear when you wear a red lipstick it definitely gives off that vibe and it's stunning it's a very sexy perfume definitely one that you're gonna be noticed by that you wear on like a first date or when you're going out with your boyfriend your husband whoever because they will definitely be giving you compliments all night on this scent this is casherelle yes i am i'm sure this is another kind of predictable one for me if you follow my channel but i could not do without this perfume this is carolina herrera good girl the og heel there is also a lot of flankers in this range and i do really love specifically the good girl supreme i love that one it's kind of like a creamier version more berries version than this one it's a lot sweeter than this one as well but this is just the og and if i could pick one i would definitely go for this as much as i love that one as well this is one that I could not do without this scent. I mean, this is such a stunning scent. This is one, again, that is so highly complimented by men. Every time I wear this around my husband, he always gives me a compliment. He loves this. It smells like money. One of the absolute most sexiest perfumes ever. And I do think that this bottle is perfect, again, for what this smells like. It definitely represents the smell very well because this is one that I would imagine myself wearing with some nice black pumps. This has top notes of almond, coffee, bergamot, and lemon, middle notes of tuberose, jasmine sandback, orange blossom, orris, and Bulgarian rose, base notes of tonka bean, cacao, vanilla, praline, sandalwood, musk, cashmere wood, amber, cinnamon, patchouli, and cedar. Tons and tons of notes in here. There's a lot of sweetness in here, but also an equal amount of freshness but in a very complex way woodiness just so much sex appeal in this perfume it's super weird because i feel like let's say you're at a perfume store and you see this and you test it you may not think much of it but people around you smell the scent much better than you do it just has this thing where it'll just adapt so well with your skin and other people will be giving you non-stop compliments because when you're like an outsider smelling it on somebody, you are going to appreciate it so much more than what you smell on your own skin. Does that make any sense? I feel like what I just said made no sense. But every time I've smelled this on somebody else, I always think it's a different perfume because I feel like it smells different on everybody, but it smells incredible. I've asked people what they're wearing when they've worn this scent because it didn't smell like this scent at all to me. It just smelled like an incredible scent that I had to ask them what they were wearing. And when they told me this scent, I was just like stunned, like what? But that is so true because I feel like when I wear this, although I love this and I love the way that it smells just off the bat, I get so many compliments wearing this. So I definitely think that you smell much better than you think when you have this scent on. So definitely one I could not live without, definitely one I would repurchase right away so that is the original good girl by carolina herrera 
need I say more? Thierry Mugler Alien cannot do without, period. This is such a sexy perfume to me. I know that this is a polarizing scent. I know not everybody loves this, but that's why I love it. This is such a special, unique, complex scent. It's a scent that you will never smell on anybody else. Well, you will now, because a lot of people own this and a lot of people do love this, but a lot of people also don't. But I feel like those people that don't love this, maybe they don't love it on themselves, but I find that those people compliment it sometimes on other people. I think if you're one of those lucky people where this works with your skin chemistry, this is just, it's magic. There's literally three notes that are stated, like jasmine, woodsy notes, and amber, but it smells like there could easily be 600 notes in here. You cannot smell this and pinpoint any note. You can definitely smell jasmine, like that's one thing, but it's jasmine in a way that I've never smelled it in any other perfume. Like it's a very expensive, rich jasmine. It just smells like the most expensive, luxurious ingredients were used in this perfume. It's a classic, it's an OG. It's been around for a long time and I hope that they never, ever, ever discontinue this scent. Otherwise I will cry and buy 700 bottles. Stunning, woody, ambery, jasmine scent, but that just doesn't do it justice. I could say a million things about this scent and they will never do it justice. Just go ahead and smell this. You will either love it or hate it. I feel like there's no in between for this scent, but if you love it, I almost dropped it, but I didn't. <laughs> that is Alien by Thierry Mugler. Forever will be a staple in my collection. Next up, this is one I would never think that I would include in this, but because ever since the day that I bought it, I have nonstop used it and I wear it so much and I, I enjoy the scent of it so much, genuinely, I had to include it because honestly, I think if I lost my perfume collection, this would be one that I would definitely want back because it's one of my most used at this point. And I know, I know a lot of you will probably roll your eyes like, oh my God, I've heard that like a million times. Can somebody just stop showing this perfume because everybody talks about it, but I just, I love it. I definitely fell into the hype. There's definitely such a huge hype uh, for this. I didn't even say the name. Do I even need to say the name? Like I feel like everybody knows what this is, but in case you're living under a rock and you don't, this is the very much famous viral Baccarat Rouge 540. I know that this is super talked about. I know that it's super like, oh my God, like that again, but it is so good. It's super unique. There is no scent like this, at least when this came out. Now there is. Now there's a million scents like this because everyone and their mothers were inspired to create this perfume. Like there's so many dupes. At first, I definitely got like this medicinal vibe to it and I still kind of get it. But I also love it. There's something that just brings me back. Every time I smell it, I cannot stop smelling it. There's something so alluring about it to me. This is saffron, jasmine, middle notes of amber wood, amber gris, base notes of fir resin and cedar. Amber gris is one of those notes that just adapts to everybody's skin in a different way. So the way that it'll smell on me, it will not on you and vice versa. So this I feel like is a scent that definitely smells different on everyone. I smell this so much now, like when I go out that it almost annoys me. I'm like, oh my God, like everybody smells like this now. Like I swear every single time I go out, somebody will be smelling like this. And I don't say that like in a bad way. Obviously I wear this all the time, so. I'm just as much to blame, but I guess it's popular for a reason. It's definitely overhyped, but is not overrated. I really think that this is a very special scent. There's something very, very unique and just mystical and very addicting about this perfume. And it, this is a perfume that will last forever. If you're gonna go out and you need a perfume that you don't need to touch up on or whatever, you just wanna smell like that for three days straight, probably even more, this is the scent to wear. That is Baccarat Rouge 540. And the very last scent that I have in this lineup of scents that I would repurchase first if I were to lose my perfumes is Calvin Klein Euphoria. I absolutely love this scent. This is another very stunning scent. If you love the scent of pomegranate, I can guarantee you, I mean, maybe I can't guarantee you, but this is a beautiful pomegranate scent. The juice in it is like this dark juice. It almost looks like pomegranate juice. It is very unique. It's a very strong scent. Definitely a projecting scent. Definitely a scent that lasts hours and hours and hours, even days on the skin, on your clothes. This has top notes of pomegranate, persimmon, 
green accord, middle notes of black orchid, lotus, and champaka, base notes of mahogany, amber, black violet, and whipped cream. It's like pomegranate mixed with a woody note. It's sweet, but it's kind of fresh at the same time. Very, very, very sexy scent. My husband absolutely loves this. Every time I wear it, he always compliments me. This is for sure a compliment getter. And it's a compliment getter that is kind of a polarizing scent at the same time. I don't think that this is generic. I think this is super, super, super unique. It smells very expensive. Definitely kind of leans a little bit masculine. Like it has this like hint of cologne to it, but at the same time, it's very feminine. Euphoria is just the perfect name for it because when you smell this, it makes you feel euphoric. It's just a scent that you've never smelled before and it's also a very addicting scent. Like something that you smell and you just wanna keep smelling. And this is definitely a scent that will leave an intoxicating trail behind you. Like people will just get a whiff of this and just wanna like come up to you, ask you what you're wearing, compliment you. It's just a top tier scent. Definitely one I could not live with without. So that is the Kelvin Klein Euphoria. There's a lot of flankers for this. I personally love just the original euphoria so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed these perfumes definitely let me know which perfumes you would start off with if you were to lose your whole perfume collection if you had to start over name like one perfume that you just had to repurchase if you just woke up and you had zero perfumes so definitely make sure to leave those in the comments but that is it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn your post notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video bye Thank you.